Hello, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we're back with another video on a Scratch tutorial. So, as you all know, today is January 1st of 2022, depending on where you live. For us, it's January 1st, so it marks the first day of the new year. So, in Google, they have something like this thing. We're going to be making this in Scratch for the New Year's. So, when you click on this, you see how confetti goes everywhere. We're going to be doing that um, on Scratch. So, of course, it's not going to be 100% accurate, but it's going to be quite similar to what whatever this is. So, let me show you guys the game. So, when you play it's just 2022, you click on the little popper thing. You have like, all the confetti. And as you can see, um, before you um, get a, uh, the confetti to get right there, you cannot click again, so you can't keep spamming confetti. It does not work because we have a script for that. So that's pretty much for their project today. So let's start a new project. And no, we will not be using any sprites from our backpack or anything. This is all from scratch, so you do not need any other sprites. Apparently 92.8% of our viewers are not subscribed and only 7.2% are subscribed. So it would really help us if you guys just click that subscribe button and left a like on this video. And as always, just comment something down below. Tell us what you did over New Year's. Now back to the video. Okay, so first let's rename the project. Let's name it New Year's 2022. How about that? Okay. New Year, sorry. Uh, and then next, let's delete the scratch cat. And then we'll get the party hat. So just search up party in your thing. So you see the party hats, right? H how the way we made the popper was we deleted these two costumes and then we removed this little thing right there. So now we have the little popper. And then we can just group it, flip it over, oops, flip it over like that, something like that. And center your sprite. Okay, so now we have our little popper. We'll put it like in the bottom left hand corner. Let's make it like that, actually, a little bit more to the left. So that's our popper. And then the backdrop, we just took the Night City. So, Night City, this one. We picked this one for a backdrop so it's easy to see the confetti. And then next, let's get our confetti. So, all we did was just paint a few sprites. It's really easy to draw. So, we're gonna make four costumes. Um, for confetti and one costume for the confetti ball as you can see it goes like right there and then all the confetti goes everywhere So we're just gonna get red color And then we're gonna like for the confetti cluster. We're just gonna like draw Let's zoom in actually wait. Let's zoom in Maybe like right here So all you want to do is just draw some small squares and rectangles So we can draw a perfect square right there rectangle we can rotate it a little bit and then maybe some diamonds as well rhombuses so make a perfect uh, square rotate it uh, hold down shift so it rotates perfectly and then you can drag it out and you get a little rhombus uh, we'll put that right there let's make it a little smaller yeah just make whatever you want make it into a little cluster And then after you got, you're satisfied with the amount of shapes you have, you can just copy and paste what you like. So let's just copy and paste a few of these. Control C, Control V. Rotate it. Let's put it up here, I guess. Control C, Control V. Move this one down a little bit. And let's just copy one more. And put this down here. Great. Okay. So we have our little cluster of confetti. Um, maybe let's put one more right here so it looks a little bit better. Right here. Rotate it. Like that. Okay. So now let's group our sprites right here. Let's group it. So we have the confetti cluster. Let's just name it confetti cluster. Let's make that capital. And then next we want to make the confetti. We'll just use these sprites right here. So I shouldn't have actually grouped it earlier, so we can just ungroup it. And then you can just move, like copy paste this into another sprite. So we're going to paint. 
Okay, so we're gonna get four sprites. So let's get a perfect square for one of the costumes on the sprite. So just copy it in here. I'll zoom in. Center. Here's right. That. Also, let's center our confetti. I forgot to do that, so let's center that. Um, and then right here we have the first one, so we're gonna rename this sprite to confetti. Confetti. And then we're gonna make a new costume. We can just duplicate this one, I guess. Delete this thing. And then we can get another one, like a rectangle or something. And rotate it this way. Hold down shift. There, like right there. And then next you get another one. So let's get this one. Duplicate the costume. Take out that. There you go. We have that. And then let's do one more. Let's just get a rectangle and rotate it on the side. So we're gonna let's just draw it. Just like that. Center it. Make it a little bit smaller. Hold down Alt so it does that. Okay, so now we have our four costumes for our confetti. <clears throat> next we want to make write the you know the 2022 right there, so we're gonna just make a new sprite choose a new sprite and then you see the two there's, there's the glow two and we just need the costume get the glow zero and then we just need these two you copy paste the zero into the first costume okay, we're gonna zoom out it's a little too big two zero so now we just del delete this one so let's move this to the left so write 2022, 2022, we're going to rotate it a little bit, like in our old project we had it like kind of like that, so it looks a little bit better, so I'm going to like rotate the entire thing, going to rotate a little bit, just a little bit. And then we're gonna get this one, duplicate again, rotate slightly again, and we get the zero. Oh, 20, 2022, sorry. Uh, there you go. There we have our 2022. We can group this entire sprite now. So, there you go. It's not perfect, but you can make it better if you would like. So let's group it. And we're going to center it. So there we have our 2022. We'll move it like right here, maybe. Okay, now let's start coding. Let's go to our party hat. Inside the party hat, we are going to. When green flag clicked, we are going to go to this position, wherever you put it. And then we're gonna make new variable. We're gonna name it confetti is flying. Confetti is flying for all sprites. That's fine. And then next we're going to set the confetti is flying to no in the beginning. So that basically this is to check if the confetti is flying up, and we won't let the player spam this popper thing. So that's what we need it for. And then we're gonna get a when the sprite is clicked. When this sprite is clicked, we're going to do if the confetti is flying is equal to no, meaning that the confetti is not in the air. So if the confetti is not in the air, then we're going to allow the player to shoot confetti. So we are going to broadcast a message, we'll name it shoot confetti. confetti. So there you go. And then next, when I receive the message shoot confetti, we're going to set the confetti is flying to yes because it is flying now. It is in the air. Next, we're going to get an if then statement. So if the confetti is flying is equal to yes. So if it's in the air, confetti is flying is equal to y. We're going to play the sound pop until done. So inside the sprite, we're going to make the sound a little louder. So you see how it's kind of soft? Well, we're going to click the louder button. So as loud as it can possibly be. Okay, so we have the pop. And then we're going to wait one second because 
it will take about one second for the confetti cluster to travel to the middle where it will all split. So we're gonna put wait one second and then you hear this? Like you said, you know how there's a sound? That sound, we actually got it from this thing. So what we're gonna do is go to the sounds and we're going to record a sound. So this is how you record a sound. You click this one and then you click begin recording. And I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit so I can record the sound. Okay, now you go back and you cut the uh, recording. So we're gonna play the recording. Stop right there, and then we can just cut all of this up to like right here. Let's play it again. Yeah, that's all we need, and we cut it right there. So that's pretty good. Okay, might be a little quiet. I'll turn up the volume so you guys can hear. It. Okay, now you click save. So that's good enough. You can make it louder, actually. We'll make it louder. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. So now, we'll rename our recording one. Let's rename it to party. Party. Okay, so this is kind of like a party sound. So, and then after that, we're going to play the sound party. And then we're also going to, after this, we're going to set the confetti as flying to no. Okay. So we're going to reset it back to no. Okay, and then next, let's go to our confetti cluster. In the confetti cluster, let's go make it big, zoom in, and then we're going to go... When uh, green flag clicks, we're going to make the confetti cluster go to the party hat, which is basically the thing that launches it. And then we're also going to hide it in the beginning. And then after that, when I receive the message shoot confetti, we are going to show... And after showing, we're going to uh, go to the party hat, which is basically this thing. And then we're going to make it shoot into the air somewhere around like here. So, like, oops, not this one. Like, somewhere here. And what I got was I got the coordinates of 0 and 50. So, it would launch around like somewhere here. So, 0 as the X position and the Y as 50. Maybe I might have to move this one up a little bit because if you change this to 50, you can see it's a little bit too high. So maybe I can move this up a little bit to make it better. Okay. And then right here, we'll put it as 50 and 0. You see? It's about like right here. Maybe move this to the left a little bit so it looks more even. And after that, okay, so we're going to glide one second to this coordinate. And then we're going to hide after that. And then broadcast another message, we're going to name it, make confetti fly. So this is where it breaks up and all the confetti flies everywhere. So make confetti fly. And then when I receive shoot confetti in here, we're also going to change the color. So it, the confetti clusters a different color every time you shoot it. Most of the time at least. So we're going to set the color, sorry, not change. Set the color effect to a pick random 25 to 300. Okay, now let's go on to the confetti. So inside the confetti, we are going to, uh, when green flag clicked, we're going to hide. Okay. Also, but, but before we begin on the code, let's show, uh, demonstrate the thing we just did. So, see, it shoots at the confetti cluster, plays the sound. So yeah, that's exactly what we want. Except one thing, as you can see, when you click it, it's on the front of the thing, the popper. So we want to make it go to the back. So we can just easily change this by just putting go to back there. So now as you can see, let's play it. It comes from the back. So it definitely looks better. So we'll just do that. Okay, now let's go back to the confetti. Inside the confetti, we are going to, when I receive, make confetti fly. We are going to make 100 clones of this confetti. So we're going to repeat 100 times, and then we're going to create a clone of myself. And then when I start as a clone, this is where the code for the clones are. We are going to switch a costume to pick random 1 to 4, which is either one of these costumes. So we're going to switch the costume to pick random 1 to 4. Pick random 1 to 4. And we're going to go to the front layer. Go to front layer with the confetti, so it goes in front of the 2022. And then we're also going to show it. 
after that. And then we're gonna make it go to... We're gonna make the confetti, like, randomly spawn, like, from negative 200 to 200 around this area. And we're gonna keep the Y position as the same, which is 50. So we're gonna go to X, pick random negative 200 to 200. And then for the Y, we are going to change it to 50 as normal. And then we're going to point in direction, point in direction of the thing to pick random 0 to 360. So it's in like a 360 circle, because 360 is a circle, so it's going all around. It looks better when you do it like that. So we're going to do it like that. So 0 to 360. And next, we're going to repeat until it's touching the edge. So it's going to just keep on moving until it touches the edge. So we're going to repeat until it's touching the edge. And we're going to change the color effect by 25. So the color is like different. It also changes. And then we're going to move five steps towards the edge. And after that it touches the edge, we are going to delete this clone. And boom, there you go. And then finally, one last bit of code in the 2022. We are going to one green fly clicked. Zoom in. When you fly clicked, we're gonna get a forever loop. Forever. We're gonna set the color, set the color effect to pick a random one to three hundred. So it's like a flash, and it changes to a different color. It looks better than just like changing the color effect by one because it it just doesn't look as good. It's like blinking to a different color, and we're gonna put a wait one second. So it stays in the color for one second. So. There you go. Let's demonstrate the game. We're going to full screen. Okay, so you see the color is changing right there. Let's click this button. You can see it is working. The confetti is flying everywhere. There you go. So, a very simple project for beginners um, for the start of 2022. So, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and Happy New Year's.